In this video, I'm gonna talk about the input loading and padding features on the Stereo Buffer Plus. On the Stereo Buffer Plus, there is a uh, input one and input two pad. This lets you knock down the input level either 6 dB or 12 dB. This can be super handy if you're running a, a really hot input, say a, a keyboard or something like that, uh, into uh, an effects chain that uh, has guitar effects pedals in it that really aren't meant to handle uh, hot signals like line level. Um, you can use the input pad to knock down that level and still use your uh, effects to, uh, without, without worrying about clipping them and stuff like that, which is awesome. Uh, so I'll just give a, a quick overview of that. Right now I'm an input one with this guitar, so I'm only gonna be using the input one side. And uh, so this would be a, uh, a full volume signal, so zero dB on the pad. And uh, here's six dB of padding. Oops, I can get my pick going. And then here's 12 dB of pad. So you can see you have uh, quite a range of uh, being able to knock down volume. And uh, again, on, on keyboards and, and like line level inputs, that's super awesome because it, it opens up guitar pedals, uh, which there are many more guitar pedals than uh, keyboard effects and stuff like that. The other uh, feature I wanted to talk about in this video is the input loading. Um, input one has this loading knob on the side here. I'm not, hopefully you can see it. And uh, it allows you to change the input impedance of the pedal. Um, Ideally, you'd want it all the way clockwise, which is about a one meg input impedance. And this will give you the highest fidelity sound. It'll basically give you a full range signal, all the lows and all the highs. As you turn it counterclockwise, it'll basically load down that input and uh, t make the imp input impedance lower. And I think you can go down to about 10K, um, which would make your input signal very dark. Um, and of course, you can go anywhere in between. This uh, can be great if you uh, run a buffer and you find the signals a bit bright. You can actually knock it back a little bit and get uh, you know, the sound of having a bit longer cable run. So I'll just uh, kind of give you a few examples of what that sounds like. So here is uh, counterclockwise, or sorry, clockwise all the way, which is the full range signal. And I'll knock it back a little bit. So it just rounds off the shimmeriness. And as I get lower and lower, it gets darker and darker. You'll also use, lose a little bit of input volume the lower you go. So this is all the way counterclockwise now. So you can hear the signal is quite a bit quieter, but it's also very dark. And uh, that would be pretty much your worst case scenario of a long unbuffered cable run. So that's uh, input padding and input loading on the Stereo Buffer Plus.